Greetings and beautiful people and welcome back to another OST reaction video and today this one has been voted for by all of you and honestly after my first time ever reaction to a Made in Abyss OST I am very excited to explore every single OST from this anime. Honestly I really want to check out the openings and endings officially as well and if I'm being honest again I actually just really want to watch this anime. I've heard so many things about it. It's supposed to be a must watch anime. I'm so curious. I really really want to watch it. We're gonna have to think of a way to watch it. Maybe we can do a watch along on Twitch or something like that. Maybe we can just start it here on YouTube. I don't know, I'm trying to think. When we hit 300,000 subscribers, I am planning on doing more anime reactions. So let's see if we can get to that number. Anyway, enough of my talking. I've talked for long enough. Let's jump into my first time every reaction to the Made in Abyss OST. And I'm gonna try and pronounce this right. Han Izaviv uh, Kardahina. Let's go. vocalist has a ghostly voice like just haunting just in the background there but with this piano as well absolutely beautiful absolutely beautiful one what an incredible ost already just straight off the bat amazing vocals absolutely amazing vocals feels really intense feels really beautiful with the piano as well i am curious about one thing though every time i've ever seen anything to do with maiden abyss the characters always look so damn happy i really want to watch this show i really want to watch it i'm gonna have to think of a way to just watch it I'm gonna ha I'm gonna have to think of a way. Beautiful opening. Oh, that's what I was gonna ask as well. Is there any way I would have heard this before? Because it sounds very familiar. It, it, I feel like I've heard this somewhere, but I could be completely wrong. Name for this genre and style of music. Mirrors, the Mirror's Edge soundtrack has it as well. It's one of my favorites. Where I, I don't know, even I don't even know how to describe it with like the instrumentals like this. The only way, like I said, Mirror's Edge has it. Is there is there a name for it? It's one of my favorite like styles of music ever. Wait a fucking second. Is that his voice? I thought it was like a fucking violin or a saxophone or some shit. Is that the is that the vocalist? of work the, the osts from made in abyss are just something else they, they truly are they truly are they are just they are master class like what the hell is happening an ost is usually like it's a song that plays at like for a scene in the anime right now right so we're listening to this what the fuck is happening in the show with this playing 
Because it could all, it, it, like, it, it's so across the middle that it could be played over something sad. It could be played over something happy, just as like something like a reveal. It could be played over anything. It's such a well put together piece of work. Absolutely incredible. The Made Miss OSTs are on a whole other level. one question before we wrap up the song here and this is gonna be a random question but to watch an anime on twitch it needs to have zero nudity um absolutely none zero um does made in abyss have a single scene of nudity even one does it have any um if it doesn't i might just fucking start watching this on twitch is what i'm saying is what like i because i don't know like we've we're, we've still just started jujitsu kaizen for the friday slot um after death note we've got full metal alchemist brotherhood um, I don't know how quickly we're gonna get to 300,000 subscribers. If we get there quickly, then we can what we can maybe start Made in Abyss like straight away. But if it takes a little bit of time, I really want to watch this show. It's so high on my personal list, and I really want to watch it. The OSTs maybe want to watch it even more. If it doesn't have any nudity, we could just fucking start it on Twitch. We could just start it on Twitch. If you want to follow me on Twitch, link in the description. See Oh, it's here. Is the um the dudes or the person's um like channel button or whatever it's called? Is that the flipping um is that the assistant from Stein's Gate? Um The OSTs are so good. So let me just let me just explain something to you guys, right? Let me explain how this channel works. So this channel is literally controlled by you guys. So when I say, when I set these subscriber goals, it is mainly because this channel isn't, like, we're not an anime channel. We're an everything channel. We do everything. We're every genre of music, every style, every kind of video. It, this is literally like a, this is a channel that is controlled by you guys. So it's a reaction channel based on you guys being able to recommend whatever you want, anything in the world, and I react to it. And we're going down the anime rabbit hole right now. So we're checking out tons of anime stuff. And if you guys keep recommending that, that is what we'll keep watching. That's how it works, right? Um, that's how this channel works. This is this channel is 100% controlled by the viewers. I wanted to create a YouTube channel that was controlled by the viewers. The viewers got to decide what that channel watches. And that is what this channel is, right? That's what I've always stood by. Every single reaction you ever see on this channel has come from you guys. Every single one of them. So the reason I'm saying if we hit 300,000 subscribers, we can start some more anime. It's because I literally want to know that the majority of people want that. And if we hit a target like that, I know that we do. Um, so yeah, that's why. So just so you guys know. So if you're not subscribed, and this is stuff you want, just press the button. Um, but the reason I say I want to watch Made in Abyss so much is because I haven't heard much about this show. I'm going into it very, very blind. But what I have heard is that it has a brilliant twist that everyone needs to see. And it is amazing. And that's all I've heard. And you guys will get me very, very easily to watch something if you tell me it's got a good twist. Because I love being proved wrong. I love being like, oh, well, it's obvious this is going to... What? Like, that's that's my favorite reaction in the world. I love that. Like, that is the best thing ever. Being completely proved wrong is such a cool feeling. Like, when you think you've got a show figured out and it's boring to you, you're like, ah, it's obvious they're going to get together, they're going to happen. And then something just... And it just changes everything. I love that. And the fact that you guys have said Main Abyss is a brilliant twist, I just want to watch it. I really do. I've got to see this show. So, how can I watch it? All right, we've just started Jujutsu Kaisen. If we hit 300,000 subscribers, that reaction on Friday will turn into two reactions a week, so we can get through Jujutsu Kaisen in 12 weeks. Um, And we could always start Main Abyss after that, although you guys want Parasite next, right? Um, But... We do two anime series on Twitch. We do a live Twitch anime watch along every Saturday, every Sunday. And we watch two different animes. We're currently, at the time of recording this, we're about to finish Konosuba, the movie. And we're going to be picking a new anime to replace Konosuba. I, at the time of watching this, you guys already know what has won, but I don't. Because that tournament would have already happened. Um, but we're watching Steins Gate on Saturdays. And there'll be a vote after that. So maybe 
Made in Abyss could replace Steins Gate. I don't know. If you guys think Made in Abyss would make a good Twitch watch long series and you guys would like that, make sure you go follow me on Twitch. And when we do that tournament, make sure you vote for it. It's that simple. I always let everyone know where the tournaments are happening, where you guys get to vote on which animes I watch. There was one happening uh, the day before this video goes out on Sunday. There'll be another one happening in a couple of weeks as well. So make sure you're following me on Twitch. Link in the description. Anyway, I got nothing more to say. These OSTs are absolutely beautiful. Made of his OSTs are 10 out of 10. They're incredible. Some of the best OSTs I've ever heard. Amazing. Absolutely incredible. Honestly, they are so good. They feel hauntingly beautiful. There's, there's just some sort of underlying horror to it. I can't quite place, like, I can't quite figure out. Um, they like they somehow feel beautiful, like really beautiful, but with with like an eeriness to them. They're done so well, and the vocalist on this, ha! Are you kidding me? <laughs> what an incredible voice! Anyway, I hope you guys have enjoyed my reaction. If you have, make sure you press that subscribe button. If not, I still love you. Have an absolutely incredible day, and as always, my friend. See you in the next video.